Today we have a video demonstration of EVSC 93. This is a wall mount unit. The cord's coming out of the bottom. It is equipped with the dual voltage uh, relay so that the CVSC can run on level 1 or level 2, which is 120 or 240 volts AC. This also has the optional kilowatt hour meter below the display, the optional external button pack as well as the optional real-time clock processor board and in-screen ammeter. So we actually have two ammeters on this unit. Uh, we'll start with the simpler uh, unit here. By pressing the OK button, we can toggle the backlight on and off on the kilowatt meter. Press the up button, scrolls through the menus. We have voltage, amperage, uh, kilowatt hours that are accumulated which you can reset at any time pressing and holding set and tapping OK and we can, can scroll to wattage and a time counter which I don't really use now let's look at the main display the menu select button does everything for us. By tapping it, we can go to the back screen and see the sleeping screen. This is useful when you have engaged your time of use uh, timer. Let's go in to the main menu and we'll come back and explain the displays later. So the delay timer, press and hold. Right now it's turned off. Yes is on, no is off. We can go in and set a start time. Right now it's set for five after midnight. And press and hold, get through that. And eventually you get used to how this menu works, tapping in and out. And the stop time is set for 6.55 a.m. Press and hold, acknowledge hours and minutes. You can see how I'm rolling around here. So what does that actually mean? Well, if we turn the timer on, and then we exit or restart. Let's go ahead and just restart. And we'll see it boot up with a custom message. That's all let's test. Okay. Now we have a lot of different stuff on the screen. In the upper left corner, you see the clock symbol. That means the timer, delay timer, has been activated. So let's go to that back screen. Play, that's the time it's going to start charging, and stop, the time it's going to stop charging. And um, the clock, which is in, always in military time. This assumes your uh, preferred time of use for charging is between midnight and 7 a.m. Of course, you can adjust this to anything you like. In Las Vegas, we have completely different times. So, we want to be able to charge whenever we want. So, let's go ahead... and set that to no. When we exit, let's say that we're back to the original screen. Okay, so that's the delay timer. Well, how about the setup? What's going on in here? Date and time, press and hold. Yes, I do. This uh, only needs to be set once. And there's a lithium battery to back this up for you. And then I don't know the current time, so we're just going to acknowledge right on through that. Service level. This unit can do both. Let's leave this on auto. It will automatically detect what voltage you are connected to upon plugging in the maximum current. All right, I am plugged into a very large circuit, so I'm fine with 50 amps. What if you were using an adapter and you're plugging into a 20 amp outlet? Well, set it for 20. And... Uh, I'm sorry, that's not perfectly accurate. You're supposed to use the 80% rule. So uh, in this case, um, let's go to 24, assume we're using adapter and we're plugging into a 30 amp outlet. Okay, so 24 is 80% of 30. That will tell the car that it's not allowed to draw more than 24 amps. So if you plug a Tesla or a Mercedes-Benz or some other high current draw EV in, it will not draw more than what it's told to. So in this case it'll take 24 out of the 40 amps that the car could potentially take and won't overload your circuit. 
the diode check, vent required check, ground check, stuck relay check, as well as the GFI self-test are all for technicians diagnostic purposes like myself and you should leave those all to the yes position or on. There's no reason for you to go turn those off. And we get to exit and go back here and you can see it's now at 24 amps. So what's this down here? Well this is the lifetime counter, the kilowatt hours. That's the accumulated watt hours that have been uh, delivered to the vehicle in kilo. Over here we just have watt hours. As your car is charging, that number will accumulate higher and higher. After the car is unplugged, that number will be added to the grand total. And then upon plugging the car in, it will start back at zero and start accumulating again. This is kind of like a, a vintage gas pump where we have these two. Now let's go ahead and plug the car in so we can see what the uh, screen looks like. Here we have my 2013 Nissan Leaf. With the charge package. So it has a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger. Open EVSC goes into charging state and we can see that it's only drawing 16 amps because it's full. It was full when I walked out here about 20 minutes ago and this is how EV reacts. You'll see this would ramp down to about zero and then shut off within five minutes roughly. But you get an idea and you can see how the screen works. All right, that completes this video demonstration of this EVSC. Uh, the only other thing I want to show you is the optional premium input cable this is equipped with. So we're gonna unplug the car. And I have the lock set. Just set that there. Let's see, okay, we're not drawing anything. This is the optional premium input cable. This uses the same beautiful braided cable as my J1772 cables. Uses a Camco easy pull handle plug. This is a NEMA 1450 to begin with. This has the neutral blade eliminated. Our EVs as well as the open EVSC do not require a neutral. Just two hots or a hot and then a neutral coming over the second hot line if it's um, to be used at 120 volts. That's what the car and that's what the EVSC control board expect. So why eliminate this? Well this is the keying difference between a NEMA 1430 a 1450 and a 1460 outlet. So now it's universal and you can plug into any of those. You need to set the amperage uh, in the menu to match what you're plugged into to keep the car from overdrawing the circuit. Um, a NEMA 1430 you'll find on houses built in 1996 and newer as a dryer outlet. 1450 is a common range outlet and also called a RV50 outlet and can be found in many RV parks. Download the plug share app to see all the RV outlets around you. There's a surprising number of them. And a 1460 is kind of a rare higher current outlet. And you'll find that in some fairgrounds. So there you go. EVSC serial number 93 completes this uh, video demonstration. Thank you.